Hello and welcome to Telemark Art Museum. We will take you along on a guided tour of the exhibition Photographs from Telemark by acclaimed Norwegian artist Dag Alveng. Dag Alveng, born in 1953, is one of our most important photographic artists. He has had an international career since the 1970s and is represented in several of the world's leading museums. It was the historical backdrop of Rukan Notodden Industrial Heritage that led us to contact Dag Alveng with the idea of this exhibition. We wanted to explore how the world heritage could act as a stimulus or as an inspiration for professional art. I was delighted when I got this uh, invitation to, to exhibit it at the Telemark Art Museum. And I thought about the world heritage and how I could use that and as, a, as a point of uh, departure for the exhibition that I was going to make. And I was looking for sites, you know, places that I thought would be interesting to show, not documenting, but representing the world heritage, but also nature, uh, you know, the wonderful nature in Telemark. After two years, um, I was then selecting the work uh, that I wanted to show, and hopefully I've succeeded in trying to make uh, visually strong photographs of the world heritage, but also uh, uh, Telemark, the nature. So it's nature and culture. The exhibition also includes older works and series by Alving. Among them, some of his most iconic photographs from series Summerlight, Racing, Vilsa, and Winterlight. It is here that we find such iconic photographs as Open Gate, Cherry Earrings, and also the self-portrait the photographer shoots himself. Just over a century ago, rapid population growth created the need of increased food production all around the world. Many attempts were made at producing fertilizer on an industrial scale. An adventurous modern breakthrough happened in Notodden and Rukan in Norway, which turned these small rural places into bustling cities. A chance meeting in February 1903 between engineer Sam Aida and the talented professor Christian Birkman set the stage for utilizing nitrogen in the air to make industrial fertilizer, a groundbreaking innovation. The manufacture of mineral fertilizer led to the founding of Norsk Hydro in 1905. This new product in turn led to the development of two new urban communities at Notodden and Rukan. Production was vastly energy intensive, but the mighty Rukan Falls provided the solution, hydroelectric power. In 2015, the industrial history in Rukan and Notodden were inscribed to UNESCO's World Heritage List. Our local environment has become part of that which the UN believes is of unique universal value and which must be preserved for coming generations. An exquisite technique has always been Alving's trademark and his technical perfectionism and talent are vividly expressed in his photographs. When I photograph, I try to find uh, subjects that are visually interesting and I compose in the camera trying to make uh, magical photographs. When I photograph, it's similar to, you know, a kind of meditation. Uh, I try to uh, 
you know, lose my thoughts, relax, and then I try to find uh, interesting subjects, or actually compositions more than subjects. The Rukan Waterfall, which uh, loosely translates to the steaming waterfall, is an iconic motif in Norwegian art history. It was a favorite theme among the painters of the Norwegian Golden Age in the National Romantic Era. In Dag Alving's exhibition, we can see the Rukan Falls both with and without water. Today, the water seldom runs freely. By looking at the falls with and without water, we can get an idea of how powerful the volume of water can be, and how big of an impact we humans have made on the natural landscape. In the early 1900s, the water was diverted into a penstock and led to Vemork power station. It then became the very heart of the mineral fertilizer industry. Alving is a perfectionist. He said that if he took one completely perfect photograph in the course of this entire project, then he would be satisfied. And he believes he has managed to achieve this with this photograph of the penstocks at Bemurk. This photograph captures the craftsmanship and the huge task undertaken by the workers that built the power stations and factories. With his camera, Alving manages to transform these traces of old history into something almost magical. Alving's art is not about the exotic or the spectacular, but those day-to-day -day scenes that surround us but which we do not always fully take in. Art is able to fascinate, spellbind and arouse powerful feelings. Alving possesses a masterly ability to convey the emotional atmosphere of a landscape. The understated and aesthetic expressiveness of Alving's photographs elevate an aging tree root, a mountain face or a race car track into works of art. The eye of the artist settles on previously unnoticed details and his photographs invite the public to look upon them in a new way. When I look for places to photograph, um, I think that it's possible, probably, to make good photographs anywhere. It's, it's a good starting point sometimes to think that I'm photographing nothing. Um, and, and, and what is nothing? I mean, if you photograph nothing, I mean, there's still something in the picture. And um, it took me a long time to figure out that uh, if I photograph nothing, what I actually do is photograph the things or the, 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 the in-between objects. And um, I was working close to Vemoik and I found the bridge. And, but I didn't photograph the bridge. Um, I photographed something else, uh, something between the bridge and the actual waterfall. Minor White, who is a famous photographer, he said that um, he used the expression, the sound of one hand clapping, which I think is describing uh, what I'm doing sometimes. A small, modest signal light has been given a major role to play. In this exhibition, new poetical connections are made between those elements that once played and continue to play a crucial role in Telemark in Norway's history, nature and industry. When I drove around Telemark, uh, and also uh, especially in the vicinity of Rukan, I found this, uh, uh, the, the place where the, the ship comes in and the train comes off the ship to continue to Rukan. And I, I, I thought this is 
an interesting place um, for me. Uh, and I found several uh, objects that I wanted to photograph, including this train signal. I love what you could call faded elegance, you know, traces of action, things that have happened, um, objects that tell a story. Um, but this signal has, almost looks like uh, a human person uh, ahead. And uh, so I, I, I had in mind, you know, I would like to take a portrait of this person, uh, uh, you know, in a, a nice, representing the person in, in a good way. So um, this is definitely a photograph of an object with this large format where it's actually larger than reality, it, it takes on almost a metaf metaphysical quality uh, that I like. Doug Alving's photographs reveal our industrial heritage from a new angle. The vision of the artists enable us to re-examine our industrial history through the lens of his camera, and thus gaining new perspectives of our history and the landscape that surrounds us. Thank you.